Are we all connected to a silver cord in the astral? Can another being or entity take over our body when we are floating around in the astral? Or can we die in the astral? Well, let's see. Hi everyone, I'm Ed. Welcome back to my channel. I have come across a lot of myths surrounding astral projection and I come across this in the stories that people tell or the things that they believe to be true and real and I have experienced some of these things and I have explored them so these are my own take on it how I see these myths and if I believe they are real or not are we connected to a silver cord is there a silver cord connected to some weird part of our body like the back of our head our bum our feet is there well the silver cord comes from the bible the old testament of the bible speak about a silver cord and i have tried to look for the silver cord when i astral projected it's difficult for me sometimes to remember things when i astral project but from what i can remember I haven't seen one when I don't look for it. So I always know I'm connected. So it feels to me like there's a connection with every part of my body, not only like a silver cord connecting to one part. So it feels like the whole body is connected and not necessarily only the back of the head with a silver cord or whatever. So that's my take. Also, when you try and look for it, you'll probably see it because in the astral you can make things happen you can create things when you think about them so i don't think it's really there but you can make it appear that is my take on it so let me know what you think so can another being or entity take over our body when we are frolicking around in the astral minding our own business the short answer is no i think Hollywood made it part of our collective consciousness. You know, fear-mongering makes a lot of money. And sensation makes a lot of money. I don't think anything will take over your body even if you begged, pleaded, and tried to sell your soul. You won't get anything to want to get into your body. Just think about it. What type of astral being would like to take over your body to live your crappy life or my crappy life? I don't think there will be any entity who would want to do that. So, yeah, I don't think it's possible. I think that's a myth. So, yeah, that's my take on it. Let me know what you think. Okay, so can you die in the astral? That's a weird question. I think a lot of people believe that that is true. I don't believe it's true. I don't think you can die in the astral. I think you can die in the physical while your body is in the astral. But that doesn't mean you died because you were in the astral. That's more like dying peacefully in your sleep or something like that. I believe your energy bodies cannot die. As to me, energy cannot die. And you have many astral bodies and it's energy. So yeah, I don't believe you can die in the astral, but I do believe your physical body can die when you are in the astral, but it won't be because you are in the astral. There are fear though that can create negative situations in the astral. Situations that won't kill you or make your body die but make it fearful and scary but remember when you are in a scary situation in the astral remember it's caused by your mind by the way you believe and the fear you created for yourself always know that it's not real that's it it's easy as that so can you get stuck in the astral never to return to your physical body well let's see 
I once had a very strange experience where I was very far from my body. I could feel my body was very far from me, somewhere in a strange place in the astral. I was walking there and in front of me I saw a being, it looked like a cloaked being, and he flashed a light into my eyes, into my astral eyes, and suddenly I woke up in my body. Really, that was so disappointing. So can you get stuck in the astral? No. The slightest little thing can probably force you back into your body. I think this myth started because people sometimes struggle to get out of their bodies and then they assume it's just as hard to get back in. But the fact that it's so hard to get out makes it so much easier to get in. So there's a really a pull from your body and the slightest thing will just make you pull back into your body. So there's no reason to fear that you will get stuck. It's absolutely one of the biggest myths. You will always easily return back to your body. Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate it. Let me know what you like to see in the comments down below, what type of content you would like me to make a video on. And if I know anything about it, I will, I will try and do it. Please like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. That will make me very happy. Until we meet again, keep well, bye-bye. And remember, always keep an open mind.